Hey, today I'm going to show you a few things I got from Sephora. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things to show you. Um, seven of the nine are from Sephora. And not the same seven of nine, but seven of the nine were also gifts. So I bought two for myself, and two are from elsewhere. A thing from Lush, and a thing from Glossier. So I'll put those at the end. So I'm gonna start with something I already unboxed, because I used it. It's this little perfume. I guess it's not that little, actually. It's... Maison Louis Marie, number four, Bois de Deux, Bois de Balancourt. Yeah, my friend is awesome. And I have a little, not a roller ball, but a, um, a little travel size spritzer in the same scent that you may have seen. I really like it. It's, I, as you can tell by the name, if you know any French, it smells like the woods. It's a little mossy. There's like a little bit of, sometimes when I wear it, people ask if I'm wearing something, um, salty, sort of. A little mossy, a little earthy. There's some some wood scents in there. I don't think, I'm not sure if it's sandalwood, um, but something like that. Very earthy scent. And I really like it. It has this little square guy on top. And it's hard to do this. So, I just spray it on my wrist, I rub it on my other wrist, and then I rub both my wrists kind of, um, not on my neck, but on the hair at the nape of my neck a bit, only because there's alcohol in a lot of perfumes and other stuff that I don't necessarily want directly on the skin of my neck. My hair is everywhere. Um, just because it can age the skin more quickly, I guess. I don't really know. That's just what people say. So. The scent matches my dark green nails, actually. So this perfume is the first thing. I really like it. You should check it out. And then we have another little perfume. My, my, um, yeah, I guess I'll say my sister's big, big, big into perfume. So, uh, she got this for me because we smelled it together for the first time and both really liked it and got little samples of it. This is when I was living more close to her, closer to her. It's very late. I'm sorry, I'm not going to make much sense. Anyway, I was living closer to her, so the scent kind of reminds me of that time, which is nice. I hope this isn't too inside just have the little guy here I don't know I actually don't know if it's a roller ball or a little spray guy it's a roller ball <laughs> so this is a good scent to have because I tend to get um, kind of fall 
lavender scents that are heavier and I don't often find summer scents that I like so this will be a good one to have let's see if it says what no, it doesn't give a scent profile well anyway, it's from Tory Burch and uh, it's called Belle Azure Azur? Azur. I don't know what accent I'm putting on. But it's a pretty fresh scent. I don't think it's a floral. She likes florals. I tend to not wear florals. And it's good because I could see you wearing it. Or me wearing it summer during the day or also at night and I know there's a slightly different version of it that's specifically for night this one is not that one but I think it's um, it's strong enough that you could so just the same pattern on the little glass part the story bird Next, I have something I bought for myself. This is the NARS Multiple in the Universal Color Orgasm. Yeah. So Inside the box, it's more packaging. It springs open. Well, I open that in the most complicated way possible. So, this little guy also says NARS on it. And the product is called the multiple, so you can use it in many different ways, like a little color on your cheeks, or kind of like, um, I mean, not quite a highlighter, but I think that's how I'll be using it. A slightly rosy highlighter, because I have one, um, that's white from Ilya, and it's a bit cold uh, for some outfits or some looks that I do. So I thought it would be nice to have a color like this. This color is meant to go with every um, skin color and complexion, every undertone. So check it out if you're not familiar with the color. Like this little cylinder, and the outside of the packaging is matte. And there's some oil on my hands from the product, um, or just some moisture, so that's what that is. But it just feels really luxe, and really like NARS. Alright, that was the third thing. Mm, I'll show you really quickly the other thing I bought for myself. Oh, this is in the color black because I have dark enough hair that I think that works and it is the Amazonian clay um, gifted mascara from Tarte so the packaging is this fake wood essentially with this funky little design up here and what 
So I either get this one or the other tart one that's gold and kind of sewn on the edges. Um, but the Sephora I went to, I went in person for this. I just happened to be by one. Didn't have that one in stock, so I got this. So I kind of alternate between the two. Yeah. Then I have two more gifts. Well, I have four more products. I guess I bought three of them for myself. Okay, so the other thing I bought for myself is this little Glossier. Glossier. Um, brow gel called Boy Brow. Grooming pomade in black or noir. I have one in my makeup bag right now that's still good, so I'm not going to open this right now. It's basically like a very tiny little wand with a very tiny little spoolie and a container of course with brow gel and I just uh, do some quick swipes, put it on going upwards, you know, the, you know the deal and I have fairly well shaped brows naturally I do pluck a little bit um, and I have to trim them sometimes just to keep the hairs a little neater but in general, just a few swipes of this and then I'm done. I don't have to fill them in or anything. Not really. Though I can. Occasionally I do with brown powder. But, um, that's a very bold brow. And I prefer a bit more natural. Just because my brows are... They're not large, but they're... They're well-defined on their own. Okay, then... Got this Dior lip glow. You guys have definitely already seen this just because I'm like, this is one of my go to lip products. This, this one, which is in pink, this, this same product but in berry. And then I also love the NARS lipstick called Shrinagar, I think. It's like this semi sheer slightly metallic raspberry color that's really buildable, really pretty um, so anyway, I have been using this one I use those three all the time and I've been using this one so much that um, it's basically, I've run, I've run out it has become an empty so lip glow. It has this pretty container. When you open it, this is the color. It's pink and um, it gets a bit more pink on your lips uh, over a few minutes. Really moisturizing, really smooth finish. Um, you know, I'll scrub my lips to keep them from getting chapped, but even if they are a little chapped, that product just almost smooths it out and makes it better for the next day, even. So, to get a little bit of color, but also that moisture, um, yeah, and like a slightly more polished look, it's a really good one. Okay, one, two, three more things. I have, um, these were gifts, the, all three of the final three. It's so late, you guys. And also, despite the hour, there are so many cars still zooming around. So this is Bite, Bite Beauty Lipstick. Um, the formula, the product is called Am Amuse Bouche, you know? little amuse your mouth little like taster things and I have this product in other colors I have it in elderberry which is really dark anytime you see me wearing almost black lipstick that's elderberry I had it in a purple color called taro t-a-r-o 
um, that I gave to a friend who will use it more than I do. It's, it's a bright purple. And then I have it in Saki, slightly purpley muted mauve, and rhubarb, like a reddish, mm, not muted, but very, um, it, it kind of matches my lips. They're a little pink right now, but it, it's like, what do they call it? Your color, but better. I don't know. I don't know anything. It's like that. This one, however, I never tried, but I have faith that it's going to be amazing. It's called Chai. So. It's called Chai. I want to show you the little letters there. And all the packaging for Bite Beauty has like a little divot cut out here. Oh, it's a really pretty color. It's like a similar to rhubarb actually, but um a bit darker. I'm just using the viewfinder, so Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, just had the longest cut of my life. There were sirens, there were coyotes. It's a party outside tonight. Anyway, I can't be bothered to do this any better right now, but I think it's good enough to give us an idea of this beautiful color, chai. Yeah, I like it. So, I actually like it with my nail color for the fall. Yeah. So, that's that, and they smell so good, all the mousse bouche uh, lipstick. Then we have another Bite Beauty product. Bite. But this is, it's still a lip product, but it's not the same one. It's another. That creme lip crayon. So, when I first saw it, I actually thought it was a lip liner, but it's a lip crayon. What is this color? I don't think it says here. Mm. This color on the lid is licorice. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, got it. So, it's this color. Burgundy, I want to say, and I quite like it. I'm not going to try to put it on in the dark for you with the viewfinder of my camera, but I'm sure you'll see it in videos. It also goes really nicely with these nails. Nice fall colors, even though we're in winter, but whatever. Okay. Finally, yes, finally, this is the last thing. Another gift is from Lush. And it is a single bath bomb. I've had it sitting on my desk in preparation for this video. And it is just perfumed that whole area of my room, which I really enjoy. So, this is 
what it looks like. I got it for Christmas, which is why you'll see there's this little Santa stuck inside. Um, I guess a kind of snowball. I actually have no idea what this smell is, but it's so nice. So he has little shoes. A big snowball body. Maybe his real body's inside. No one knows. I don't know yet. And he has these little mittens. And a hat. And a face. Somewhere in there. So, this is a... I plan to use shortly. So that's the end of this little Sephora makeup goodie haul. See if I can end on a focused note for you. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's only slightly out of focus. What a mess. <laughs> thank you for being here with me. Yeah, thank you a lot. And let me know if you know of any of these products, if you like them, if you have recommendations for me. I'm not looking for anything in particular right now, but if you, if you think you know something I'd like based on what I already like, for example, this Dior Glow stuff is so dear to me. Uh, just let me know. Yeah, I just want to focus now, huh? Okay. I hope you're doing super well, that the new year is treating you just divinely, really. And yeah, I will see you very soon.